Hi guys, I'm happy to see that you're here and you want to know something more about baking. I'm Amanda Oakling and this will be again a decoration idea or one of the types how to decorate your cake. In previous video you can see a lollipops uh, but today we will make a sugar printed decorations. I have here very very lovely uh, decorations uh, Among Us, Paw Patrol, um, Elsa from the I forgot how from which movie but you know Elsa and this is a good idea how to decorate uh, on the celebration when it's Mother's Day, Father's Day or you have a theme uh, with cartoons and so let's start and I will show you what we need for this lovely cartoon decorations. Main thing it's printed edible paper with uh, edible print of course. Uh, some of you, I think um, mostly of you don't have uh, edible printers, but I have here um, in my bakery an uh, pr edible printer, but you can buy it in the internet. Just google edible uh, pr uh, print in your city and I'm sure you will uh, have a good result when you will search. You will send for this uh, company what you need on your paper and say for them that you need a sugar paper. In my experience and in my work we use a free edible papers. It's wafer paper, sugar paper and chocolate or cacao butter paper. Chocolate paper of course you need to use for chocolate, for candies, for bars. Wafer paper it's of course you can use for prints but it's more suitable for uh, flowers or maybe aesthetic decorations on the weddings yeah i will show you in next videos how to use wafer paper but the main most suitable for bright uh, coloring uh, print it's sugar paper what is sugar paper paper it's very 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 thick uh, fondant and it don't like to be outside from the map. It um, gets very, very fast dry. That's why you need to store it in a wrap or maybe in foil or maybe in the map where it's not uh, in your regular room environment and room temperature. What else you will need? A ski source or a knife, a roll, um, for the glue, I'm using uh, vodka. I don't know how it is. I think it is vodka, just alcohol. Uh, be sure it's 40% uh, uh, with alcohol. And it's very good for glue, sticking together paper with fondant. Yes, you will need a fondant. And I'm using two types of fondant. This is uh, modeling fondant or sugar paste. But for the cake covering, you need a regular covering fondant. Uh, when you buy it in the shop, make sure this is the thickest one, the modeling fondant. And it's very hard and when you knead, you need the time. I'm already kneaded uh, before the video, so it's uh, quite soft right now. And um, after we will cut the print, we will glue it, stick it on the fondant. Let's start. Where is my skisers? Uh, you can do it in two ways. You can cut it with the skisers, what you need, or with your knife. I prefer to do it with scissors. Here I have a baby shower uh, print. Um, of course, it could be any your favorite cartoon character. And cut it all around how you prefer. I'm always left a small white uh, line all around my character. Here's a pony. I will get an air balloon. I'm showing you this decoration with uh, sticks. We will stick it with the two brushes and it could uh, be straight on your cake. But you can use the sugar paper, nothing 3D 
illusion, but you can use it in 2D illusion. Just put it uh, off from the plastic wrap and put it on the uh, buttercream and that's it. It will stick on the buttercream and you can uh, put all around your cake this uh, printed decorations. What else? All or elephant? I think elephant. Uh, again, this uh, decorations uh, is the best option for these who are not making edible uh, fondant uh, figures, who don't like to make them or uh, not good in modeling. For me, this is lifesaver. You just print out what you need and put on your cake. I want to make it more precise. I cut it more on the lines. Taking off the plastic wrap, always, don't forget about that. I had one situation a very long time ago when I didn't know that there is a plastic wrap. I just cut all around my um, print, for example, circle, and I didn't take off the plastic wrap and I just put it on the buttercream and then my customers was calling me why we can't cut the cake and if there is a plastic, is it edible or not? And I was so shamed about that. I just didn't know. But it's always the first time, right? So here is our decorations and here is fondant. We don't need much, we just need a little bit. When it dark decorations, I suggest you to use uh, dark fondant. I have here um, background white, that's why I'm using a white fondant. But if I will have a background black, I will use a black one. Uh, for uh, to reduce a thickness, I'm using very often cornstarch or potato starch. For this, uh, it doesn't matter. I'm putting it a little bit on my silicon mat and I will roll out, roll out fondant on the cornstarch. One more hack. Uh, if you are if you are putting your in your decoration a toothbrush, you need your fondant about 5-4 millimeters. When you will stick it on the sides, for example, downstairs, put about two millimeters because it's not looking good. It looks very brutal when you put in the downstairs very big this decoration. I will put in all of it a two brush. That's why I roll out about four millimeters. It's quite thick. Right now I'm using an alcohol, just a little bit on my fondant, don't, don't pour a lot, just really a little bit, okay. It's right now a little bit sticky. And one more hack, always use your prints with clean and dry hands. If you will have a little bit alcohol on your fingers and you're touching a print, it will have... Um, you will smash your print and press it carefully all around very often i'm using a paper towel for this when i have a big road fondant and i have a big decorations it's easier to uh, touch it with a paper towel but right here we have a small one and that's okay cool and in this time, oh, I need to rest my elephant. And now I'm using a knife, a small decoration knife. And here you need to be very careful and precise because if you will not cut it in uh, correct lines, it will look messy, but you need a uh, beautiful lines. And just cut all around. You need a little bit practice with this 
In my bakery, I have a decoration uh, colleague who is only make a decoration, fondant, uh, animals, Elsas, and this type of decorations. And some weeks ago, she broke her nose and we didn't have a decoration master. So I needed to make this and I eight hours cut out uh, this printed decoration. This was terrible. My finger hurts a lot. <laughs> Okay, make sure that all lines all around decoration it's smooth. Smooth it just with the finger, but with dry fingers. Repeat the same with others print prints. I'm cutting all the my uh, print decorations and now I'm using a wood toothbrush stick and press with all your hand on your printed decorations and put inside your stick with a sharp edge and be sure that you are uh, to broaden the stick it's going straight uh, parallel to your hand because it's very often that you are putting your stick inside the print decorations and it goes up and damage your print That's it. You can go to my Instagram, Amanda Oakling, and there you will see a pictures of uh, cake decorations where I'm using this type uh, of print decorate decors. I really love it. I'm actually we make this in my bakery every second with this type, and uh, I hope this was helpful helpful for you and I'm waiting uh, your comments in this below uh, how you love it do you make it and what's your questions about printed decorations I will help you how I can so see you in the next video and next video will be something different and see you soon